Good morning. Good day. Nandito tayo ngayon sa um, Knowledge and Philosophical Foundation of Social Work Profession. Actually, we are already on our week 6 of our topic. Okay? So, our topic is all about the Knowledge Foundation of Social Work Profession. So, like any other course, no? Actually, social work is also um, is a form, no? It's a combination of a lot of professional, no? Tested knowledge, borrowed from psychology, anthropology, sociology, and even public administration, medicine, political science, law, and a lot more. Okay, social work is a social science. According to Alfred Gadushi, no, um, he stated that knowledge base of social work is comprehensive topic, which encompasses the facts and theory skills and attitudes necessary for effective and efficient practice. So, di ba nga, yung last topic natin in chapter 3, we know there, three kinds of knowledge. Kasali na dyan yung tested knowledge, which which is confirmed and tested from a lot more of observation or research. And also, we have hypothetical and assumptive knowledge, which have not yet been confirmed but are acceptable naman and acted upon. Though they were um, though they were true, with intention to confirm them eventually. Okay, sabi ni Compton and Galloway, um, simply put, values answer the question of whether the proposition is right and wrong, while knowledge answers the question of whether something is true or false. K kasi kaya dapat, no, yung, fagi, yung foundation ng social work, dapat value foundation siya at saka knowledge foundation. Paris siyan dapat eh. Kasi nga, how are you able to know if, if something is true or false if hindi mo rin alam yung basihan, if it's right and wrong, okay? And of course, we have assumptive knowledge and the like. And a lot more, no? In social work, we have here uh, um, encompassing knowledge of social welfare policies and services, is WPP, human behavior and social environment, talks about more on psychology, understanding personality and social environment or um, the, the system of where the individual is. And of course, social work practice, no? Histories, um, foundation, and the like. In the Philippines, the social work curriculum is generally structured in these three areas. Existing courses can usually be categorized into each of them. No? And of course, the fourth area is that the field practice. Pina-practice natin kung ano yung knowledge and value system na meron tayo in social work. Okay? So, social welfare policy and services also referred to as social welfare policy programs and services or, in short, SWPP. is concerned with the organization, administration, and operation of social work programs which are established in society in order to meet the needs of an individual. Of course, human behavior and social environment is concerned with the material necessary for understanding the client as a person in his problem situation, the dynamics of individual group behavior. Okay, and of course, not just the individual, including the group and the community. It also concerned with content about normal and deviant behavior, no, meaning value system na siya. Malalaman natin if, um, if an behavior is right and wrong values okay so um if a behavior is normal or abnormal or deviant or not okay social work practice commonly re referred to as social work methods also meron tayong tatlong methods no? the primary and the secondary methods is concerned with the actual process by which social worker helps help his client an individual bayan group or even communities the methods and techniques of helping the resources necessary for helping as well as the appropriate attitude facilitated the helping process. Okay? Um, as has been stated, the existing knowledge in social profession pertinent to the areas are either borrowed from other discipline or developed by social workers from the field. Okay? So, at the present time, the knowledge component in social work, social welfare policy and services and the social work practice areas come mainly from knowledge developed by social workers or social workers and are found in social work books, journals, and a lot or more. Now, this supplemented, meron din tayong mga supplemental readings borrowed from a lot of profession in medicine, law, kagaya na sinabi ko, political science, public administration. Kasi kaya nga class, no, if you are undergoing maybe a master's, no, it is advisable to have this kind of master's. Proceed in medicine, law, political science, public administration. The knowledge component in social um, in social work is also human behavior and social environment. Area greatly rely on borrowed knowledge from bi biological sciences, psychological sciences, and social sciences, as well as humanities, of course. We move on to the social welfare and social welfare policy programs and services, or we can also call it SWPPS. 
Keywords in this curriculum are social welfare needs, problems, and if there is a needs, there must be a resources, programs, and services na um, we thought no, nga ma makakapag-solve sa mga needs natin, provision, okay? The objective is to help students acquire knowledge to general policies, conditions, legislations, institutional programs, and broad ranges of social services which are relevant no, in social welfare in the present day. Stu students are expected to learn the nature of social functions and contribution in relation to social welfare programs and corresponding programs and services. Okay? And also, the opportunity no, um, to have no or, uh, anticipation kung ano yung mga career choices nila. Saan silang field tutungo. The aims for studying social welfare policies and services are to help the preparation para magiging competent yung isang practitioner. No? To help students acquire the ability for critical analysis. To help students develop commitment to the profession. The following is the outline of the specific knowledge required uh, for this area. The framework, societies respond to human needs and problems through institutional institu institution of social welfare. The concept of need, kailangan alam natin yung need, universal need, material, material needs, non-material needs. Of course, the concept of problem, um, kaya nga, assessment, in making assessment statement as a social worker, yung pinaka-focus talaga doon, understanding the problem. Ano yung root niya, saan siya nanggaling, or saan siya connected. So, the concept of problem is important also. Prob problem as manifested needs, problem as person-centered, and a lot more of concept of problem. And of course, the concept of provision. Okay, how society meets, meets the needs of its members by individual and group efforts, by major societal institutions, family church, no, labor unions, and the forces that bring about the institutions. And of course, no, um, how society meets the needs of its members through social agencies. So, ang dami na po natin social agency ngayon. So, yan yung pag-discussan natin. Agency ba yan? Private or public? No, NGO ba yan? Or um, governmental organization? And of course, motivation for social welfare programs. Ano yung motivation social welfare? Of course, we aspire social justice, social control, economic development, human values. And I believe I already discussed this on the prior subjects of this. Okay? And social welfare programs and services, the uh, historical and current process which contribute to social problems and generate social policies and social work. Sources of policies, constitution, um, kaya nga in terms talaga, napag-uusapan din natin sa social work, yung mga relevant laws na related in abuses, provision, ganon, ganyan, okay? Policy formulation, implementation, and improvement inter-related processes, okay? Competent skills needed for effective participation. And ways in which society organizes to handle welfare programs to respond different kinds. Okay, ano yung ways ng societies? By agency, by legislation. Ways and means by which policies are translated into programs and services. So, including by including dyan yung administration of programs, financing, and a lot more. Setting priority targets no, for investment resources. Okay? Assessing and evaluating effectiveness as well as deficiencies. and, and it, um, it includes evaluation. And of course, Philippine social welfare agencies and institutions, we are going to tackle about a lot of institutions. The broad field of social welfare and its various instrumentalities, social services, education, health, and a lot more in different fields. Okay, Field settings for social work practice, tradi traditional fields, child welfare, uh, medical setting, correction, public assistance, community centers. And new emerging fields in social work, manpower, development, HR, no? human settlements, Women and development. And of course, um, kasali na rin dito yung nature of human needs served by different social welfare agencies, no? The organization and its operation and program services and the characteristic and structure of social work as a profession. Ano yung past and current emerging roles ng mga social work? And of course, we move on, no? Um, sa isa rin yung social work na focus is human behavior and social environment. Okay? So, kasali na dito. It's more on tackling about, no? Thus, by uh, understanding the biopsychosocial being of a person because we believe that a client is not just um, a biological human, it also uh, has psychological social being. Okay? So, the interaction between him and, and the physical, social, cultural, political, and economic forces in the environment which affects or influence behavior. So, it's more on studying psychology and human behavior and, of course, um, the context, no, the systems. Okay? And so on up to that. The praise the individual is a biopsychosocial being means that there are inseparable interacting forces 
biological, psychological, and social that influences human behavior and personality. Okay? That we have biological component, no? From our health, no? Genetics, nutrition, that we are physical being. Psychological component, cognitive, emotional, cognitive. Social component, no? Societal, institutional includes um, status, normative, interactive. I believe I discussed that already. Okay? So, um, we are going, we are understanding here that um, people or um, group or community might have uh, disturbs in equilibrium and we are to go there no, to study the biopsychosocial being and studying the culture, the physical environment. Of course, physical environment has two aspects, natural environment and constructed environment. Okay. So, social environment, our area of social curriculum should perhaps more appropriate called human behavior and social environment. So, ito po yun, no, aspect bio biological, no, um, psychological, physical, social, and cultural determinants. So, ito po yung cycle to this. No? We are individual, we as individual are political, economic, um, nandito na sa circle na to, okay? So, nandito na rin na factors that may, that mutually influence each other in the development of an individual. So, economic resources, a lot more meaningful group association, physical energy, a lot more genetics, no? goals and values. It's more about understanding the biopsychosocial of an individual no? and what influences uh, each other in the development of an individual. So, further din, madidiscuss din yan siya no? sa uh, mga appendices natin sa, mga, sa likod talaga. No? So, of course, including din dito yung um, field practice and social work, which uh, which means that meron tayong dapat two years of social work courses and 1,000 hours in field practice, okay? Or practicum. The outline nito, no, is that the individual as biopsychosocial being, internal or external forces influences behavior and human condition. Selected context, no? The concept of social functioning. Alam na natin yan, social reality, social change, social disequilibrium. And then, meron tayong mga selected theories na makikita natin sa appendices, no? Personality theories, it's more on um, sociology and psychology, hereditary, environmental, it's more on um, genetics or biological forces, the role of social conditioning in the satisfaction of biological needs, psychoanalytic theory, no, and the ego psychology like Freud, Rank, Erickson, and the like. Feminist theory concerns about the um, conflict theory related to learning theory, social role theory, culture theory. We really have to understand each cultures. Kasi nga in Philippines talaga, um, ang daming mga kultura dito, no, we are multicultural country systems theory we we tackle this on our social work 133 or social work environment um, individual group and community okay so meron tayo dito no um, the human beings um, as by psychosocial being concrete interaction relatedness concept of systems no concept of system boundary concept of change in one part of the system concept of feedback concept of closed and open system implication of system on, on social work communication theory no to kailangan din natin malaman kasi in social work talaga your communication skills is needed. In, okay? So, kailangan ka talagang mahasa verbally, non-verbally, indirect by or a lot more communication theory. Small group theory. In social work, um, we organize people, individual uh, groups. Okay? Organization theory. It's more on organization. The community, we are going to understand the community, the definitions, nature, and the community process, no? That, um, that community process that influence the individual behavior. Social work practice, no? And what to do and how to do it, no? So, uh, kailangan alam natin yan. So, in social work kasi class, actually, magagawa lang naman ng mga layman din yung ginagawa ng social work. Kaso nga lang, no? Um, they may know um, what to do. Ano yung gagawin? Pero, alam ba nila kung how to do it? Tayo lang na social work yung nakaga nakakagawa niyan, okay? So, the social work practice aims to help the students understand, appreciate philosophical um, and knowledge foundation of social work, no? Um, also, understand interrelationship knowledge value and the use in problem solving. Develop beginning and identification with social work profession. Develop awareness and so on. The following is an outline of specific knowledge required on this area. Of course, the philosophical and value foundation of social work, practice, theory, a concept of social work as a problem solving. Philosophical foundation of social work, philosophy, ano yung values, principles, no? Ang dami yun, no? Philosophical ethics, no? Code of Ethics, formal and informal. Social work practice, the goals of social work, function of social work, no? Meron tayo dito, remedial, developmental, preventive. An essential element of social work, client, group, 
no problem ba yan worker process okay and of course the helping and problem solving we discussed this already on the week 7 or week 8 already assessment planning implementation evaluation okay helping interventive models group no with types of clients individuals ba or grupo meron yun no uh, ang daming mga approach and models na angkop sa mga um, inorganize natin and of course we're going to topic there about selected tools in problem solving okay interviewing communication and i believe no na medyo ma na replace na tayo dito sa purposive communication section I, I know that na nadidikas na ito about interview, communication, recording. Nai-enhance yung dapat yung communication skills natin in social work. And of course, um, skills corresponding to the steps in problem solving, okay? Skills in working to different clients, no? Um, meaning having, not just having a knowledge, no? Kasi dapat kasi we can practice our profession. So not just the application of knowledge, no? Dapat din, meron tayong skill. Is skill in the use of community resources, is skill in the use of variety of social work helping methods, knowledge and skill, is um, skills in establishing, maintaining, and professional relationship, and skills in the use of variety of social work practices. So all of this, sum up, no? Um, yung mga yung knowledge na kailangan natin, no? So meron pa rin dito, no? Mga kailangan natin, no? Methods, no? Please see in the appendix 4 for the definition of the traditional methods of social work, in group work, case work, community organization, and secondary methods. Ito yung mga primary method no, ng social work. No? Case work, group work, and of course, the secondary method, social social ad, social action, and social research. Social work practice and individuals. No? It's concerns about case work, um, the history of case work, contemporary social work practice with individuals, nature of, nature and characteristic of one-on-one -on -one helping with individual. And of course, social work with groups, historical development of social group work, concept of groups, no, and the group the, the group work process. Of course, helping interventive models, approaches, paano tayo makakatulong sa group? Meron dyan developmental approach, remedial approach, mediating. Contemporary social work practice with groups, no, and of course, social work practice with communities, okay? Historical historical development in of social work community organization, community organization and social work practice, models ta nito, community organization and community development. Varying agency approaches, no? and issues and problems. Okay, so, um, kasali din dito yung um, secondary method in social work, social welfare administration, and social action, no? so, nandito, nandito yan, social research. Okay, so, ito yung, thank you, no, um, we will discuss this further in our later majors lang talaga, okay, Ito kasi, it's more on summary, ano yung knowledge base ng social work. Okay, I just run through it, I just discuss it para ma meron tayong um, the full concept kung ano talaga yung gagawin natin the whole curriculum. Okay, so yun lang and thank you for listening.